Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. All right, so listen, I know you don't think there's been a lot of tools available, but April Fools, there are some tools out there. We're going to break them down. If this is your first time to this channel, please go ahead and like, subscribe. I'm always, you never know what kind of hack packs I'm going to put together. Today is your lucky day, the April Fools hack pack. Let's go over to my desktop. Let's check it out again. You're probably just looking and just scrolling through AppSumo, but you have no idea what's in store for you. Don't be fooled, April Fools. Let's look at the April Fools hack pack. Come on over to my desktop. All right, so let's do this breakdown here. What you have in front of you is you have three tools here on this April Fools pack. You have one, you have marquee.ai, you have two, follower.ai, and then you have socialmonials, right? And you're probably saying, okay, so what all, what do they all three have in common? They're all, you know, schedulers for social media posts and schedulers, things of that nature. And we already know that we're moving into the era where, you know, um, having to have digital marketing assets out there or having people to engage with your posts is very important. It's, it's going to remain important, right? But what you want to do is have the right tools for the right plan. So let's go through this breakout. Let's talk about this particular uh, set up here. I don't want you to be fooled when you look at all three of them on the surface They may look close, but they are definitely um, Different they are not similar as one may think so let me go through the play here And what I'll do is I'll kind of show you if you hang out long enough I'll go through and I'll just show you some of the key areas of each one of these tools because I own all three of them But I own all three for a different reason. Let me tell you the reason why I own all three first So let's get to that first Right. So one of the reasons and you should consider this, I've looked at overall value in all three and I've truly assessed all three. And there's a need for all three. Depends on what kind of business and setup you do. So you're just a solopreneur. You're just going to run it alone. Try to do what you need to do. Then your best purchase more than likely would be Marky.ai getting a tier two. Right. You get a tier two gives you enough. I think maybe I have to go back and look at it, but it gives you about six brands or um yeah, six, six different uh, profiles you can actually use for that. And I'll talk about some of the different um, values of it first. But let me go back. Let me, let me also figure out where you're at. And then you'll figure out where you need to concentrate. So if you're an agency for others, you want to put different things together for other people. It's just, hey, let me put together, you know, some uh, marketing materials for you. Let me, let me fill up your social media calendar this is a good and you want to go tier tier six on this i think tier six is about 174 dollars and i think you get a hundred profiles so you're not going to have a hundred companies you're just not right and a lot of people say oh my agency i have a hundred companies okay so then you're you're working probably harder than what you should be right to have a hundred companies and I'll, I'll talk about a good solution for that so let's say you had a hundred they're going to give you a hundred and i think they're going to charge you maybe 50, 50 bucks more to to get another 10 uh, seats or some something of that nature that I read. So this would be good if you're an agency for others and you're a small agency, right? Or beginning agency. I think this is a good way to, to begin. So again, I would go to tier six here. All right. And then if you're wanting to be an agency of agencies, right? You just want to sell to other large agencies, then your your hands on choice is going to go with a tier one here and but you get the plus agency pack that you add on um that i know they did have a deal on that i think i may be able to talk to the founder maybe get some more um extensions or get some more codes to see if we can get that for you uh if you're a member of this channel or my private community i may have that available for you as well so we'll talk about that, right? And I'm going to show you just some different elements. When I go through, I'm going to come back. I'm just giving you a breakdown from a 40,000 foot view of uh, these this April Fool's pack. But I wanted to come back and I'm going to show you each particular area, what I wanted to show you. So what I was also thinking, if I wanted to give you a key tool that you can add to these two tools. So with the April Fool's pack, right? And if you got the follower R tier six, I would add the card clan if it's still available. I don't know if card clan is still available. If you picked it up based on my other hack packs, this would be a good tool to add to this or in your particular package. Perfect tool. Combo those two up. Hey, we're going to do this and we're going to do cards for you or make that available service for you. 
or you could um, you can also add smat leads with it, right? So you can still because smat leads is, would be good to add with social monials, or you can double it up over here if car clan is not available. You can buy that and double it up with the smat tools. So smat tools work for either one of these, right? And car clan just works best for follower because you're still doing a lot of work for other people. Um, there is an agency pack for card clan. Uh, if it is available, like I said, and you can use that for the social monials pack or the follower pack. So that's what we have there. Now, let me give you the key features of each one of these tools. And I'm, I'm going to give it to you and then I'm going to show it to you. And to keep this, this video short, and I, there's other videos that talk about all three of these. I'm just telling you what I noticed, what jumped off the bat right at me when I started going into these tools and evaluating them more. What I noticed is the volume, the sheer volume in Marky. Meaning that Marky basically gets an idea of who you are through their AI prompts. Hey, this is your company, or you put in a website. What I was more impressed with was if you put in a website, it'll just kind of tell you, hey, this is, your, this is who you need to be writing to. Tell us your persona. We think you're writing to this persona, but this is what, what it is. And this is, you know what? We're going to do about 20 different variations of different types of, of uh, posts for you, social media posts. Perfect. It did actually out of all three, it did the best, right? But I like for the cost, I don't like to own that. I wouldn't want not want to own that as an agency. It just costs too much for it. But I think, and there's another reason why, because you don't have a lot of flexibility in the outputs. You get the outputs and it goes and it does and it puts them together for you and it does a really good job for it. That's why I think follower is a better choice for agency because it's inexpensive. It's $174 to get the tier six, you get 100 accounts. So basically that's an investment um, to start your own agency package for $174 and you get 100 seats. They don't have the full, I think they don't have the full white label and or conditions and restrictions just yet. I don't know what that's gonna look like. I've seen other companies promise it in the past and it's never really what you think it comes out to be. Everybody that's promised agency, if they're not, if they don't have an agency already, you never know what that's gonna look like. And then once it leaves AppSumo, you're like, man, I thought the agency would allow me to do this. I thought it allowed me to do that. And it just did not do that. So you have to be careful trying to buy a company on a promised agency package because it's never what you really truly think it is um, most of the time. What I also what I also like about it is you do have, and I think going back to my original statement, what I wanted to make is you don't have a flexibility in your output. You can tell the prompts what you want. You don't have a lot of variation. You can change the editing, but you don't have very... Um, you can't customize the photos and do all that. You can, just not to the degree that you can with Follower. So inside Follower, it has its own studio. And what happened is I think they partnered with, um, um, they partnered with, I can't remember the company name. It escapes me right now, but it was a company that was on AppSumo and they ended up getting purchased by a larger company. I can't remember the name right now. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put the name in the screen when I, when I do the edit, I'll put the name in the screen. Um, hold on. Let me, let me get the name of the actual company. Hold on. Yeah. So what they did was, uh, they have Vista print, right? So I think I can't remember the name. It was three years ago. The company got bought out. So Vista print actually acquired them. So they put their actual studio in there. I think it started with a C. I can't remember the name of the company, man. It so escapes me right now. But print, uh, but uh, Vista Vista Print actually purchased them. So what you're going to see inside, what you're going to see inside Follower is you're going to see a version of uh, Vista Print inside of Studio, which it kind of brings up a Canva like scenario for you to kind of customize the copy that you have so they can give you the written copy but you say nah i want a picture that does this and i want a picture that does that right so they're going to give you so they're, they're basically giving you a canva inside your studio i really really like that that's why i like a tier six here at 174 dollars 
this is a steal. This is by far the steal of the day until you want to be one, not 100. Whenever, whenever I tell you it's 1,000% white labeled, it's 1,000% white labeled. So there are companies that do 50% white labeled. There's companies that do 25% white label. There's companies that do 100% white label. When I tell you, and you've heard it from me in the past, if I tell you something's 1,000% white label, then you better believe it's 1,000% white label from the email, SMT, simple transfer mail mode protocol, all those things, everything's in place. Uh, domain name, everything. A person would never know it's someone else. Excuse me. They would think that you created it from scratch. That is social monials, right? Social monials, you, you know, it. It's a little. It's a little dated because they were one of the first players, right? So yeah, they're not going to have all the fancy bells and whistles. But what I'm trying to tell you is, it is tried and true, and what they do, and they have the agency pack here, right? They have an agency pack add-on that makes it one thousand percent white label pricing, help desk, help support. You know how you'll 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 pass off something and says, hey, it's white label. Well, now you got to think about putting all the um, the help files in to help people navigate it, help them move around. They even give that to you. It doesn't even have their name, no mention of their name in there. Those are just help files, just so you can basically move around. They even have an opportunity for you to put your own chat bot or your own chat widget in there with your own branding. So the same branding that you would put in the actual um, dashboard, you can actually use that same branding you would actually use that same branding and put it in your chat bot so it totally looks like you right and so that's what i'm saying so these are the different variations so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and i'm going to look further we're going to look at the one key thing that i liked about all of these right again i'm going to look at the sheer volume here for marky i'm going to look at the studio here and then we're just going to look at a white label maybe a, a login and maybe the dashboard or something like that so Let's go ahead and look at that particular piece. Again, this is our April Fool's hack pack. You think there's nothing up there? There's always something up there. All right. So let's go look at that particular piece. All right. So we made it over here to Marquee, right? And um, what happens is when you get into Marquee, the first thing I ask you is, is, you know what? Tell us about your business, right? And this is how AI is so powerful now, right? One of the things I did, I wanted to test out, hey, I don't feel for my website. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. I just wanted to show you what happens when you first get in there. And you describe in a few sentences, you know, if, um, describe in detail what you're, what you're promoting, right? You can do that. Or you can say, hey, you know what? I have a website. Why don't you go and figure out what I'm promoting? And they'll say, okay, we'll do that. It'll do that. It will bring back your brand colors, right? You just upload your logo and then you upload a head a headshot and then you put your your handle here and so and then you hit save and continue. So let's take a look at what that looks like when it comes out of the oven. So what happens is when it comes back, this is this is what the breakdown is. This is kind of what it gave me, right? Just based off my website, it created all of this, which is spot on. I was really amazed. It's like, yeah, this is what I'm trying to do. Got my core values, got my website, got my niche. Some of the things I was looking at, call to actions, follow us on YouTube, want to be featured. These are all the call to actions that I have on my website and it picked it up and it says, you know, you can pick your level of uh, promotional level. You can get your emoji, emoji level, mid, right? This is, this is crazy. So it did all of this, but not only did it do that, I said, why don't you create for me? Uh, some different posts. Now, this is what I was talking about. So I wanted to own this for my own company. I don't want to do this for anybody else uh, because I, like I said, they're too expensive to own as an agency. So these are the copies that it created, right? Um, I told them I wanted to create a, a, um, a post and it just started just creating this stuff out of nowhere. Three challenges you will experience when trying to navigate the com competitive SaaS market stiff competition, keeping up with rapid changes, acquiring and retaining customers, but overcome these and you win. I didn't come up with that. This came up with it, right? It came up with that. This is once I press generate, came up with that copy, came up with this copy, right? Um, came up with this copy for X and then it's got these different variations. Do you want, do you want that one? Do you want that one? Do you want that one? This gave me a month's worth of copy. 
literally, right? And it gave me pretty good, um, the photos it used, it's giving me these backgrounds, just, just giving me all this verb, and I'm going on and on. There's five variations of this one, right? It gives me another variation, it happens, gave me another variation there, so on and so forth. It gave me all these variations. I'm still going, it gave me that, it gave me that, it gave me that, that, it just, and then you can generate more posts. And then you can schedule each one of these. This gave me a lot, right? This gave me more than I expected. So something like this, uh, I'll just use for my own company. And that was one of the, the, the power I said, as far as sheer volume, right? Uh, Marquee, hands down, is going to give you, and it gave me pretty good copy, the things that I liked. Um, so what I didn't like is I didn't have a whole lot of uh, flexibility in controlling the copy. It just, it is what it is. Or if I wanted to edit it, I can just edit the post, right? I can change the background color. I can just edit, edit the caption, right? And so that was one of the things that I didn't like. So other than that, it gives me a list of topics, which I can appreciate, right? I can enable these topics or I can add a different topic here. These are the different topics that I'm going to cover. I didn't create these. I just came up with them on my own. So that's pretty good. So, all right, so let's move on to follower. Let's talk about follower here. Just I'm just giving you this juice of where they're at. And again, if you want to pick up any of these, of course, my, my link is in the description. You can pick up any of them. If you still want me to continue to bring you to juice, then of course, use my links, right? I mean, I, I'm not going to retire. I promise you, I'm not going to retire off any of these commissions, but I do appreciate it. I mean, I, I may get five, 10 bucks or something like that. That's enough to allow me to come back and be able to to look at another tool maybe later on that you have some interest in. Also put your comments below if you want me to look at some other tools or you have a question on it, right? So, and then they all have a 60 day uh, money back guarantee. Let's look at follower. So follower was a little bit different. It was a little bit more hands-on. I had to put in my color palettes um, or get colors from the logo. It actually put those in, right? It knows the colors because those are the colors that I, that I have for my logo. And then you put in your website and you, you put a description in here. I think I wrote this or it gave me some of the description there. Uh, SaaS companies, founders, entrepreneurs, it's I'm telling it my audience. So I kind of built this and then I can update it if I want. So I'm loading the personas up, right? That's what I'm doing. I'm loading up the personas. So any type of copy that it puts together for me, it's going to generate that for me. So then you have over here, you have your post generator from prompt. You can do prompt, prompt. You can do AI suggestion from images, from, from news and so on and so forth. So let's take a look at some of the things that it, it created from my prompt. So when you come here, these are the prompts it is suggesting for me. It says, hey, listen, we can create something for you using these particular prompts, right? Create a high post highlighting SaaS use case business services, a uh, team of knowledgeable experts and service. So it's going through, it's saying these are some good prompts based on what you're saying, based on what you think you're needing. And I can regenerate those. Now, one of the things that I said that I like that it does is, um, you can go and you can find columns that are associated with it from Google or from the news or from holidays, right? Or from a URL. It's got a good analytics piece here, but you can go in here and say, you know what? I want to use this prompt, but let's look at a creative here. So I can go in and I can um, create the image. So we'll do that. So let's look at this one right here. Let's look at this. We'll generate it here. And I want you to generate three posts for me, right? And so this is what's going on here. So it goes out. And one thing I noticed that I, um, I got a better, my prompts were a lot, my my output was a lot better from uh, Marky. I do, when I, if I go head to head, I'm liking my prompts a little bit better on, uh, I'm liking my outputs a little bit better on Marky. These are the prompts that I'm getting here, right? And I'm getting these prompts and I'm looking at the pictures and I'm like, ah, eh, okay, all right, you know, but what happens is you can actually go in here and you can say, you know what, let me edit. I think this is, yeah, let me, let me edit, let me edit this and you can open creative, right? Or you can change the format or you can open creative. This is powerful because if you're working with a client, you can say, you know what, let's change that. 
boom, Vista Create. That's what it was. Vista Create. I think it was crisp or crispy or I can't remember the name of the company, but I owned them and then they got bought out by Vista Create. I actually own a premium plan of Vista Create, but I use um, I use Canva so much that I forgot how good a crisp Vista Create was. So they're basically giving you a, a, a kind of a Canva built in here. And you say, you know what? I don't like this. Let me switch it to maybe this one. And I can switch it up and then I can change it up, put the company name and all that in here. And then I can say, you know what? Let me save this out. This is the one that I want to use. Right. So I can save it out, preparing your design. I didn't change any of the wording. Obviously, I just wanted you to see the power and what it does. I like this better for clients. That's why I said to buy the, the value at um, 100. Did it switch out? I don't know what happened here. Oh, I think I just, oh, it did switch out. Okay. So it did switch out. So this is a, um, a post for Twitter, I think. And then this is, this is the same thing in a LinkedIn post. So I can change that and you can kind of see how it looks. Right. So there you have it. This is what I liked about this, because if you're working with a client and you can say, hey, listen, uh, I did these posts for you. What have you? Let me know which ones you like. Let me know which ones you want me to change. Right. You could do that and you can change it up very well. So they don't give to me. They don't give you good outputs. Like when you look at when you look at what uh, Marky gives you. Right. Marky gives me. Let's look at there. Give me some pretty large variations and it eases your logo. Um, I'm probably going to put a clear logo in there so it shows up better here. So it uses the, it just, I got large variations of what I want to do, right? I can do any one of these, um, giving me better pictures, giving me just these little snapshots and these, these templates. They just look better and cleaner to me, right? And I think follower gave me some things that I was like, what is this photo coming from? And that was that. So let's take a look at the last one. Let's look at social monials. Let's kind of look and see what that's doing. You're like social monials. Yeah. Wait until you see this. All right. We're going to start it off with this. This is my login screen. So anybody coming and wanting to get business services from me or one of the agencies that I work with, again, you guys know I'm transparent. I show you guys how I grow my business. That's how all of the clients and the coaching clients that I work with, I just show them. This is how you put the blueprint together. And so this is the login screen to my social monials. Crazy. And again, it's all my domain, right? Um, it's 100% my domain. And then let's go inside. Let's look in the back end and let's take a look and see what it looks like. So now we are in the back end here. And this is what it would look like for my clients. So obviously my brand would still be there. And you could change the border up here to the color that you desire. You can change this border over here to the color that you desire. You can change your button colors. You can customize this whole dashboard. So this is what it looks like when people are actually using my tool. This is what it looks like for them, right? But not only does um, social monials gives you, um, you can do your posting schedule and all that, but they give you these campaigns Right. So you can actually run campaigns, right? You could run viral competitions or this is an added. These are just added things. This is what they kind of start off with. So if a client is work, if you have a client that's working for yours, is hey, you know, you don't just need to do that. You can add campaigns for your clients. Right. So they can do this for their clients. They can run these sweet days, sweet days campaigns and so on and so forth. So you can do that. You can have referral campaigns. Right. You can do uh, referral campaigns. You can do engagement campaigns. Um, you can do photo campaigns and so on and so forth. So you can have all of that. But let me tell you what's and then the reports are pretty good. You can schedule them out. Right. You got to do a lot of work on this side. They still have because they were already built and they had already had the API a long time ago. And a lot of these newer companies are just getting in and they're coming in and they're doing all this AI stuff, which is good. I have zero problems with that. But what they actually do, and a lot of people don't know this, is they have an AI writer here. And they do have an AI writer. It writes for you. What it does not do is it doesn't put all the copy together for you. It allows you, you more. You have to manually construct the best ads that you possibly can. 
But what they have is, let's see here, if we went here, if we go start writing, what you're going to see is you're going to see I have the opportunity to use Claude. Oh, I don't have a count here, so I have it set up for Claude. So I punched it in a Claude. I, I didn't get a chance to set up Claude. So let me set up, let me show you what I'm using, and let me show you the options. So again, you can actually use Claude as well. You can use five different um, um AI writers. So let's talk about that. Yeah, so what it allows you the ability to do is it just takes you right into your own uh, subscription of ChatGPT, whether it's Claude, ChatGPT 3.5, 4.0, takes you to all the latest ones, right? So some of the ones that are being built now, they don't have access to all of them. They haven't built them all in, but this one's giving you all of them, all the AI writers here. So then it goes back and you have, you can create lead magnets. So these are different lead magnets. You can generate a guide. You can actually put all this together. It gives you an option here. You can have, um, you can create legal documents, right? There's a legal wizard in there. And again, this is a lead magnet. You can create all of this just by using your connection that they gave you. You can go to, what else can you create? You can create video scripts, right? You can create courses. All of this from inside of your social money. This is crazy, right? You can create your ads, right? You can create ads, Facebook ads, you name it. You can do all of that. You can put blogs together. It's giving you all of those different things. And of course, you can do your social media as well. So let me show you what else that I wanted to, um, as we kind of wrap this up here, um, so these are all the different things that you can write. You, again, you can start writing any one of these. You can do that as well. Let's look at their uh, white label campaign and then we're gonna shut this down. So inside their white label, you can change your logo. Again, you can change the side, favicon, all of that. You can do custom domain. You can do your email server. You can do a custom sign in page, which is the page that you saw me put up for you. And then you have some other settings here as well. So you have, you can do a lot of other things there. I'm not going to expose any of some of the other things that I've done there, but you could put your, your widget in there as far as your help support widget and those particular things you can put in there as well. Let me show you the pricing page and all that. This is, this is a lot and they actually can create a full website for you. So you not only get that, you actually get an agency website. I think it's WordPress, but if you wanted to use your own, you definitely can do that as well. So as I'm starting to finish up some of the things that I'm doing, these are the plans that you can put in place. You can create your own pricing plan. You can use your, you can use their connection to, um, you can use their connection to swipe to, to Stripe, or you can do your own connection to Stripe. You can do your own landing page. You can do your own price, and you can it's totally customizable. You can do your free trial access. You can do workspace defaults. You can do bonuses. I mean, it has bonuses in there. You have AI's um, assistant as well, and you can do your terms and the notification. You can do. If you can think of, you can do it as an agency. You're going to be able to do it in this particular plan. Um, so you can use all of their stuff that, that does it for you automatically. Or if you wanted to have some creativity and do it your own self, you can actually do that as well. So hopefully you guys like this April Fool's Pack. Don't be fooled out there. There's still some good uh, opportunities in here. Um, so I wanted to, again, do a recap on this. We talked about... Um, three different uh, setups. We talked about Marquee, we talked about um, f uh, Follower, and we talked about Socialmonials. They're all pretty good. Um, just really depends on your use case and how you can use them. I own all three because I have three different reasons. I like, um, I definitely like um, my using my own setup uh, for Marquee right? I like using that. This one also has, and what, what people don't know about social models because they've been around for so long, they do Google My Business. They do every single one that you can do. They do them all. They do all of the social networks, all of them, right? And so I think they're the only one that's out that do all of them. Let me, let me take a look at which I want to show you that really quick as well. Stand by. 
so what they do is you have you have your Facebook, you have your LinkedIn, you can actually do your business accounts from your LinkedIn too. A lot of them don't allow you to do that either. You can actually do um, your you can actually do your Instagram here as well. You can publish via your mobile app. You can publish from the mobile app. Right. Uh, you can publish directly or publish from the mobile app. They have Google My Business. They have Twitter or X. And they also have um, your your uh, I can't even name even in case of TikTok. And you have your uh, Facebook. I mean, not your Facebook, but your YouTube and they even have Pinterest. Right. A lot of them don't have Google My Business. Right. And they have them all. Right. And you can generate the link for your clients to join. Once you generate the link, it's going to send. um it's going to send a temporary link uh, for you to send to your clients to add their own accounts. It's going to generate that for you using your logo and all that. And the client's going to be able to set that up. So you don't have to do anything. You can get into your client's account by just sending them this link and then you can manage it from there if you need to or so on and so forth. So, Hey, hopefully this has been helpful. Hey, this has been Jenny Jones, digital girl hacks club. That's just, that's just what we do here. We put, we hack these tools, give you the best values, give you the best tiers to look at and for your money and also we bring you these hack packs i got something special coming up for you guys make sure you stay tuned i got another live coming i got two more lives that are coming up and uh please like subscribe give me some juice let me know if, if these are the types of videos that you like to see a, a thumbs up a like a hey jenny i was here just knowledge let me know you were here hey this has been jenny jones you guys have been great oh you know what let me let's look at the integrations here really quick let's stand by let's look at the integrations because there's probably more than what you think so again they've been around for a while you got html integration here html form you got mailchimp salesforce infusion sauce you got a a weber you got active campaign mellow light Right, get response, moose in platform. You got webhook integrations, okay? You got drip integrations, uh, authentic, authentic drip, and you got uh, Synfox integration. So it's got a lot of integrations here. Definitely, if the, I love any tool that's got at least a webhook. Let me at least send some information over, right? So uh, just wanted to show you that. You guys have been great. Hey, take care. Goodbye for now.